the first ever to kill the music, please, television channel dedicated to the growing atheist population. Uh, atheist TV is geared toward every atheist in the broadest possible sense. Some atheists can hear me over that music. Yay! Some atheists cannot hear me over that music. There we go. Whether they call themselves atheists or skeptics or humanists or any of the other labels that not only just people use to identify themselves, Atheist TV is for them. It's for you, presenting a wide range of the movement and its members to your sets, to your TV sets, 24 hours a day. Atheist TV is an American atheist initiative, but we are very grateful to the Steve Ray Foundation for making it possible, and we are also grateful for the content and support provided by the Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science, the Atheist Community of Austin, comedian Keith Lowell Jensen, the American Humanist Association, and several others. Together, we are able to provide a breadth of content from science to politics to comedy, all centered around our common freedom from religion. Now, throughout this country, atheism is growing, and it's growing faster than every religion. Nationwide, we number close to one-fifth of the population, and that number grows to one-third of the under-30 crowd. Now just think about that. That means that in 20 years, one-third of the under-50 crowd will be non-religious, and that assumes no growth, which is not what we're seeing. But still, the TV networks kowtow to the liars who make money off misinformation. The History Channel treats the Bible like history. So how can we trust what the History Channel says if they tell us that Jesus walked on water? The Discovery Channel treats ghosts like they are real. How can we believe that Mythbusters is telling the truth? if we have alien abductions coming up next. <laughs> Bigfoot, psychics, aliens, spooks, spirits, gods, devils, all bunk, all pushed by the so-called truthful and scientific stations in an effort to placate the waning religious segment at the expense of the growing segment of atheists who should be, but are not, their target audience. In doing so, Mass media miseducates the public into thinking fantasy and mythology are legitimate and logical, exchanging an opportunity for growth and education for a quick buck and the promotion of ignorance. In a very real way, ladies and gentlemen, these pseudo-educational channels are hurting America, and they should be ashamed of themselves. Atheist TV is here to take advantage of mass media's massive dismissal of truth and reality and the people who seek it. In doing so, television dismisses tomorrow in favor of yesterday. And Atheist TV is here to fill the void and corner the growing market of secular, sensible substance. At Atheist TV is not all going to be about atheism, but it's going to be for atheists. Politics, science, comedy, with no woo, no witchcraft, unless of course it's clearly fiction. <laughs> our channel will be broad, our message will be broad, but we will never, ever stoop to the level of stifling skepticism for the sake of sensationalism. Yeah. 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 You can hear that discovery. You can hear that science channel. Yeah. But Atheist TV is not just about movies and programs that have already been seen. What you will see today when we launch is just phase one. Phase two will be ushered in by Ms. Liz Bronstein. Where are you, Liz? Wave your hands, Liz. There you are. Liz is known for producing such shows as Joe Millionaire and Whale Wars, 
and we will include new, original, woo-free TV. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, by the way, Liz, we're really thrilled to have you aboard. Really thrilled to have you aboard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Atheist TV is an idea whose time has come. It is a movement-wide tool to promote our breadth, our positions, and most importantly, our existence. Atheist TV will help the movement help America. That's what we're here to do. And, speaking of help, this is a very real place where you can help by donating to American Atheists. Oh look, a membership brochure. <laughs> I didn't expect to see this here. So we have uh, two staff members, Nick and Amanda. Where are you, Nick? I don't see Nick. He's gone. Well, Nick, there you are. Nick and Amanda are here. Um, they have square readers, and they are also capable of taking checks and even cash. Folks, please support us. This is an incredible effort. This is the first ever atheist television network in the history of the planet, and we need your help. So please make a donation because creating, I don't know if you know this, but creating a television network is expensive. Yeah, it's expensive, but it's also so worth it. Uh, so they're ready to take your donations, and I want to personally thank each and every one of you for considering and making your donation today. Now, there's one more announcement uh, that you all need to know. Maybe there's a couple more. Uh, as you all know, American Atheists makes the best and largest atheist conventions in the country. <laughs> 2015 will be no exception. Look, we've got flyers that are hanging out. These are about the uh, conventions. Now, we have two conventions that I want to mention. The first one is in Memphis next year, Easter weekend. The second one, the second one is the first ever atheist convention in Puerto Rico. And that's a very uh, exciting thing. I'm, I'm very excited to, to host both those conventions, but I'm pleased to announce something today. We're announcing a lot of things today, and I'm pleased to announce the keynote speaker from Memphis, Ms. Ayan Hirsi Ali. Yeah. We're really excited to have her come. Uh, we're going to talk, I'm sure, I'm sure the word Brandeis will be circulated, because she's, she's, she's too hard on Islam to get a doctorate from Brandeis. That's, uh, that pretty much counts me out, too. Um, additionally, just to let you know, we're keeping the prices for the 2015 convention at the 2014 level so that we can allow more people to come and have fun at the greatest atheist event of the year. And you can buy your tickets starting today at atheists.org. Now, we've got two minutes before things happen. And that means we've got one minute and 30 odd seconds before the countdown to Atheist TV begins. Does anybody have any questions before we do that? Yes, Jamila. Uh, can you talk please about content? Where is it going to come from and where is the new content coming from? So the, old, the content that exists right now, the question is where does the content come from? Right now the content is coming from the AHA, the Richard Dawkins Foundation. There are a lot of movies that most people haven't seen that Richard Dawkins has donated to us. Yay! And of course, yeah, and American Atheists and a lot of vloggers and the atheist community of Austin. This is all great content for a startup for phase one. Phase two, that's where Liz comes in. We're gonna be producing our content originally and create original content so when you turn to Atheist TV, you will get stuff that you've never seen before geared just to you. That's gonna be cool. All right, we've got 40 more seconds, yes. Where will the content be available? The content will always be available on Roku. Now, the way this works, just to let you understand, if you have a Roku box, you can see everything we have anytime you want. It's video on demand. You go to your Roku box, you pick what you're gonna see, and you watch it. If, however, you don't have a Roku box, or if you just wanna watch live TV, atheists.tv will have the stream of the channel that is about to go live. And that's, the, that's uh, 
That's something that we're really excited about. Thank you. What? Okay. Um, last question. Anybody? Yes. When do you think it will go to cable TV? That's an excellent question. When do you think we'll go to cable TV? This is a growth prospect. We're going to start off on Roku. After we go to Roku, we're going to look at other platforms like Apple TV and PS3. And then, yes, we are looking at satellite providers, uh, Dish Network, DirecTV, and finally the cable networks. And that is going to happen uh, in the next, now, well, I don't want to give a time frame. As soon as we can. And I'm just going to let you let that sit like that, all right? I am really excited. I am I am thinking right now that in 20 years people are going to be looking back at this moment and seeing the time that history has made. American we made history with the Reason Rally. We made history over and over again and now we're going to make history with the Atheist Television Network. And I'm really excited to bring it to you. I mean coast to coast, state to state, city to city. Atheists are coming out of the closet. Atheism is normalizing, ladies and gentlemen, before our eyes. This generation is seeing the progress. Eight, 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 seven, let him go. Five, four, three, two, one. television network by and for atheists. In a society bombarded by religion at every turn, Atheist TV is, finally, a place we can call our own where we can speak the truth as frankly as we want. If you want religious programming, there are hundreds of channels from which to choose. <laughs> but if you've been looking for something new, something different, and something, well, real, you're in the right place. If we want to talk about the fact that religion harms people, we can and we will. If we want to show Muhammad on the screen, we can. <laughs> being an atheist means being liberated from the artificial rules that religion pushes on everyone else. We're here to bring the best of what the atheist community has in the most vivid and engaging way we can through your television via Roku, or free online at atheists.tv. Atheist TV is a place where we can explore science with such thinkers as Professor Richard Dawkins. This is a place where we can focus on real history, but unlike the History Channel, we're not going to present science fiction as <laughs> science fact, or religion as reality. Unlike the Discovery Channel, we won't be depicting ghosts as real. <laughs> Unlike the Learning Channel, you'll find no psychics. <laughs> this is a place where we can talk about philosophy without pandering to the pseudo-intellectual nonsense peddled by theologians. This is a place where we can be as honest as we want without worrying about offending religious sensibilities. The one thing atheists have in common is that we are not encumbered by a belief in gods. But there is so much more to the atheist community than that. We're here to bring that breadth to light and share it with the world, to entertain and educate people about atheism, to promote the idea that religion can and should be criticized, and to show conclusively that atheists are, indeed, everywhere. Atheist TV is dedicated to atheist-friendly content. But what does that mean? It means we're working with many organizations and leaders in the atheist community to present programming that atheists, just like you, will want to watch. Atheist TV will include programming such as science documentaries, stand-up comedy, and speeches from famous atheist writers, scientists, and entertainers. And that's just the beginning. Soon, we will launch original programming geared toward entertaining the expanding and flourishing atheist audience, and we are very pleased to be working with experienced Hollywood producers, including Liz Bronstein and Paul Preventa, to that end. <laughs> something that's never been done before, and we think it's long overdue. 
atheism is the fastest growing religious demographic in all 50 states, while religion shrinks and withers. Religion survives only via birth rates and indoctrination, while atheism grows simply by speaking the truth. That's why we're growing, that's why it won't stop. That's why Atheist TV is needed now more than ever. Truly, it is an idea whose time has come. With the help of our supporters, our partnering content providers, and you, the viewers, we are proud today to make this idea a reality. So please, sit back and enjoy the first ever broadcast on Atheist TV. We begin with a few words from my predecessor. Ladies and gentlemen, the late founder of American Atheists, Madeline Murray O'Hare. 